The European medieval diet was largely determined by social class. Most of the people, which were peasants, had a large portion of their daily diet in grains, such as wheat, rye, oats, and barley. These were good sources of carbohydrates. The grains were boiled whole in a soup or a stew, or they were ground into flour and made into bread or malted and brewed into ale. Estimates from the late Middle Ages indicated that a gallon of ale a day was not unusual, but the actual alcohol in the drink was low. Protein was usually provided by legumes such as beans, peas, or lentils. Fish were available or on very rare occasions. Meat such as poultry, pork, or beef. Additional nutrients were provided by seasonal vegetables and fruits. Peasant diet was rated high on mo modern nutrition standards. But seasonal fluctuations in food availability and poor harvests usually cause long periods of very poor nutrition. Yep. So, today, Amanda and I will be making a barley stew, because that is what peasants ate back in the Middle Ages. So, enjoy! In our recipe for our barley stew, we have one full onion, whole chopped. onion, chopped. <laughs> we have some sugar. We have chopped carrots and celery, one cup of barley, some diced tomatoes, three bay leaves, well, three bay leaves, two quarts of vegetable broth in our handy dandy pan, and then we have some parsley, some paprika, and some garlic powder, and some salt for some spice in our stew. First, we throw in the diced tomatoes. I need to start after. Next, we throw in the whole onion chopped up into pieces. <laughs> Next, we put in some chopped carrots and celery. And then we put in our one cup of barley. Uncooked. Uncooked barley. And then we put in our three bay leaves. One. Two, three, then some salt, we, and then we'll put in a hint of salt. Actually, we need a lot of salt. <laughs> and some major saltage. Now, we'll season up our stew with some garlic powder. Ooh, that was a lot of garlic powder. Some parsley. Maybe this won't be so bad. And some paprika. How do you look in the paprika? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now we need to stir it all up. <laughs> and we let that come to a nice bubbling boil. <laughs> 